Hello and welcome to the Minefish Cray here, and today we are going to be playing the Beginner's Guide. But I'm going to go ahead and start the next level for this game, or level, I don't know what you want to call it, game. But anyway, we'll go ahead and do this, so we'll let it load here. Alright. This one gets a bit goofy. Mm-hmm. Alright, so, oh, why have you come here today? Um, was it into... Per to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? Was it to make relationships more meaningful? No? No, none of those. You came here to become perfect. Uh, maybe. Um, this workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends, the people in your life, to look at you and think, wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you think you are um, in the way of your own life? Who do you know who is so well a developed person to make you feel disgusted in yourself compared to who you feel unless selfish, ungrateful? I intend to make you that person. Perfection is within your grasp. And the question is, how do we do it? But how do we do it effortlessly? This is easy. It is so easy. It is so easy. Perspective shifts. Uh-huh. What, what the heck? Um, what the heck? And you play as the teacher. And suddenly, All right. you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Uh-huh. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. Um, okay, what the heck? Is that like a black hole or something? All right. This is, we, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. All right, um, I'll just, um... Alright, well, let me tell you right now, if it isn't effortless, then then it's not the right answer. Uh, thank goodness to all of you perceiving me as being wise and intelligent. Um, seek out o the only thing. What is the easiest, simplest path forward? There is no truth. There is no path. Do what is easiest. Do what is simplest. Feel what is true nothing no one I felt pretty hard for this one I perfection like one of the most relatable experiences that you can have to uh, assume that some other person is perfect uh -huh. and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human uh-huh um I think all right this game a lot these days I don't really get that one that much. Ooh, we're already in 2010. I think it ends in 2011, this game. But, okay, what's this? Wow. This, is this one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. Uh -huh. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this. And it's not like it's particularly complex. So, I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Uh-huh. Alright, so stage is this way. Hmm, what's this? It's a strange... It's a stage, I guess. Huh. An empty audience. Whoa, what the heck? Oh my gosh, that scared me. Alright, the performance is beginning. Please, or places please. In this scene you will be playing as me. You are gathering... You are a gathering of professionals. First of all, you start leaning against this wall um all right lean against the wall good stay right there a woman across the room in the chair is a professional photographer of animals it is your dream to f photograph animals professionally this is your one chance to learn something from her to gain or succeed go on say something to her sorry i have to leave <laughs> You're leaving? You can't leave. You're letting your animal brain make decisions. Be bigger than that. Have a natural conversation with her. Do it again. Um. Uh, let's. I'm super scared right now. <laughs> Wait, what? Um. No, no, no. That's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. 
I was reversed, but now I wanted to. It was confident. For some reason, that uh, I, I can't read this. This is too fast. Alright, uh, what the? What is this? Um, whoa. What, what it? Now talk to her again. You must have worked really hard to get where you are, sure. What, 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 it, what is this? They make like these music. What are these cones? Uh, or whatever they are. This is strange. Um, alright. Okay, step backstage. There's the lamppost. I guess it's over then, probably, since this is at the end of all of the games. Oh, do I- what? What- what just happened? Why did that just close on me? Um... Alright. I just keep heading backwards, I guess. Into the darkness. What, what the heck? Okay, yes, now this is work. ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution uh -huh. to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and right. having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away, which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs uh -huh. that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. Uh-huh. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for um. him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect right. with this person. To bring him closer. Uh-huh. Uh, Alright. can you do? Um... After this, Coda went off and took another five months to make a new game. Uh-huh. Alright, I think we're getting close to the last game here. Alright, um... Okay, click your... Or keep your eyes closed to play it pro properly. Or no, I must open my eyes. Um, what, wait, what? Help, I'm... Oh, wait, how am I... Oh, this is weird. Oh, no, is that gonna crash into us? Okay, I'm gonna pretend like I can't see anything. Or, no, I, I can't do that right now. What the heck? Is that, like, about to run into us? Um. Oh, no. No! No! What? Ah. What? Oh, wait, what? Why is it happening again? Um. Can't you see anything. probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. Uh huh. And there is a solution, by the way. Alright, how do I... What, what is this? Um... Alright, um... Okay... I failed this time, too. I'll try again. Alright, um... What's going on? Uh, what's going on, guys? Um. Alright, I'll go with please tell me somebody how to solve this. Sure. Alright, what's going on here? Come on. Ah, uh, no. No. Oh, wait. Be quiet and help find the shields. Um. Alright. Okay. What's going on? What's this? Here we go. This might be it. This could be it. This could be it. The only way to stop this is to speak something that's honest. Um, my work, or I'm bursting with creative energy. Ah, uh, no, that is, wait, what? No, that is truthful. No. Ah, uh, I'll try this again. All right, come on, run to the elevator. What's going on? Right. Okay, um... I can't keep making these. Yes, that's it! That was the truth! Um... 
Like I said, I'm I out of ideas. Concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, <gasps> wait a second. That That's whisper, but like like in the first weirder, game. His work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like uh -huh. he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas. Yeah. Anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, uh -huh. you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Uh huh. Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. Uh huh. All right. Um. That's strange. But did you notice on the side it said like SS the games are going to get more whisper? Desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Uh huh. All right, December. All right, so this is like one of his last games. Possibly one more after this. I plan on finishing this today. All right, hello. Wait, what? What is this? Where did this island come from? Or no? Oops. Wait, what? What? Is, what is this? This is strange. It, is that a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I've talked to anyone. Uh, good for you. What's wrong? You look lost. I'm completely out of ideas. When I try to create, I feel empty. I have nothing to give my work to. Or, I have nothing left to give to my work. Sure. Oh no! What's happened? Did something change? There was a machine that kept me going, and it stopped. Sure. Right? Wait, you're looking for a machine? I think I know where it is. It isn't far. What? Er. I need to see it. I need to know why it stopped. Sure. This is, this is getting kind of weird. All right. Um if the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, uh -huh. this one turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose um, work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, yeah. depression, even. And yet still he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? I don't know. Because from my perspective at the time and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how I It's the puzzle again. It's the puzzle he's again. In his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. All right. Um. Wait. What? Um. This is. I, I don't. But I know this is the same puzzle. Let's see which one. Um. You have to close the door. You have to open the door. Um. You have to press the switch on the inside. Sure. All right. Okay. Now what? All right. Now you have to close the first door. All right, there we go. And then um now just close the for now um now press the switch here, sure. There we go. Sweet. Ha, that was so simple. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. Uh -huh. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the uh -huh. answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled uh -huh. into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. Wait, what? Um... Wait, what? Um, alright. Making these games isn't simple, sure. I don't really... What, what the heck? What is going on? But it, but it wasn't true, sure. Don't worry about it. Just keep talking. Keep saying creation is easy. 
is easier. It never stops being easy, sure. Oh no. What what's going on? Keep going. Seeing this um, game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. Yeah. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated uh -huh. seeing him so trapped. It's like video games are yeah. not worth this amount of suffering. Alright, um Alright, sure. What 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 is this? This is someone I really cared about. Yeah. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated uh -huh. like this. It was the worst thing for me. Alright. Um, okay, please continue. Um Sure too. What the heck? Yes, uh, more. Keep going. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. Sure. I wanted it to what? stop more than anything. What is this? I never felt so rotten. I just I needed uh -huh. more than I had ever needed anything for this to what? stop. What is going on? Stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. Okay. Hmm. Alright. I think this is gonna be the last one, most likely. The machine. Alright, there's somebody right here. Guard. Ma'am, glad to see you've arrived safely. We've captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation when you like. Um, I intend to be quick. Very good. Just be warned that somebody has called the press, so we might have a bit of attention to this one. Also, no more, um, one more thing that you should know about the machine. Or wait, it calls itself what? Alright, whoa, whoa, what? Okay, this is cool. Okay, hello everyone. Um, I'm just gonna be talking to whatever this machine thing is. Okay. Hello there. And of course, it's the machine. You stopped. Sure. This is kind of creepy. Um, you stopped feeding us. Um, okay, let's see. Those people out there, can you imagine the pain you've put them through? Sure. Uh, why am I interrogating a old machine thing? Um, I've been so alone, sure. Um, apologize for me leaving. Wait, what? Nope, nothing. Think carefully how to hurt you. Right then, I'll apologize for the people on your behalf. Hey, what? Alright, um... My followers! It falls to me to deliver bad news, sure. The machine will not apologize to us. <laughs> But isn't important. We are stronger than it thinks we are. Um, alright. Let us pay it. Um, let's show it we are not fail failures. Sure. Alright, um, follow me. We will destroy the machine. Yeah! Let's go. Wait, what? No, it's the stage again. What? Oh, is I got a gun. Is this the same gun from the Whisper game? Oh, yes. Yes, I can shoot through the curtains. Awesome. Coda, I'll make sure your work dies here. Oh, it's spelled C-O-D-A. Alright, I thought it was spelled differently. Coda, I'll make... Oh, no, I meant to say the other one. Yeah, awesome gun stuff. 
So now the work is becoming self-destructive. Uh-huh. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that yeah. Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's right. having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people. To get some actual feedback on his game, uh -huh. it might get him out of isolation. All right. And so, oh, it's the I'm typewriters this, again. I realized that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never uh -huh. occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback. So, what if All I right. did it for it? Uh huh. If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would um, it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? I don't know. Oh, is this gonna be going over like all the games or something? Oh no, I so fell. I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one uh -huh. and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, yeah. the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. Uh huh. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions, and the great part uh -huh. is that they really loved his games. You know, all right. The point of it all is just to give them some external reference point, but they, they genuinely yeah. loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. All right. Um. Oh no, it's the machine. It's the machine. No. Um. Hello, Mr. Machine. Put down your weapon. Okay, so I get to shoot the machine. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Yes. Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my uh -huh. work is good. That I am good. When when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, uh -huh. there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something... Yeah. I really felt like I'd done something good. Like... Like, I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble uh -huh. and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could All right. fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. Okay. It made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. Yeah. Okay, uh, I I don't really I don't get this that much. <laughs> so anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of uh -huh. takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. All right. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. Okay. So let's take a look. All right. So I guess this is the last one. Um, wow, I this is really confusing. I don't know. All right. What's this? And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything uh -huh. else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance yeah. itself from the world. It's a very cold game. Uh-huh. Alright, I'm pretty sure that thing's gonna close down on me. Is it? I don't know. Guess not. This room actually has a maze in it. All right. Wait, what? Except that what just all happened? the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every uh -huh. time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. Yeah. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player yeah. for trying to play it at all. All right. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press uh -huh. enter, and I'll put a bridge over the maze. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna skip. There we go. All right, um, let's get going. Hmm. What's across this and to be bridge? Fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some uh -huh. modification to be playable, like the house cleaning game. 
You know, that one used yeah. to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. Yeah. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. <laughs> but that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? Yeah, ooh, slot machine. The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit code. All like right. the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me, because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me All right. except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during uh -huh. this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the okay. code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can... Oh, okay, so, one, five... One, six... One, seven. Sweet. There we go. Alright. Got a staircase here. This is kind of cool. All right. Hmm. It's a pit. We and um. All right. There's the a switch door to open here. this door is actually on the other side what? of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first uh -huh. two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. Yeah. And it's scary for me, the idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely. Just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix uh -huh. the problem. I feel okay. like I when I can't fix the problem. But I can open this door uh, for you, so... Alright, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> alright, um... Was I a failure for not understanding this game? I don't know. I don't know why I would be, it's not like... Everything needs to have a solution, but I feel it somehow. I uh -huh. feel like I failed, and I don't understand. No, why. don't don't feel like that. I remember it's June of 2011. I'm playing this for the very first time. Uh -huh. As I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. Yeah. It wasn't the guy I knew. It wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... Uh-huh. I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. Uh -huh. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I yeah. asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. And oh yeah, the three dots. The three dots. Remember that, like in the first episodes that I made for this game, like there was those three dots. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. Uh huh. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped. Yeah. And left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Yeah. Okay. Where did this I is... screw up? This is interesting. Dear Davey, thank you for for your interest in my games. I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? because of what I did. Um, wait, what? I poisoned it for you. What? Dear, okay, I'm gonna read this again. Dear Davey, thank you for your for your interest in my games. I need you to ask you not to speak to me anymore. What? What? I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, uh -huh. it actually felt... <laughs> It felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna read this. I wonder at times whether you think I am making these games for you. Alright. Um, and the people what? who played them, they treated me like 
I was important. They really uh -huh. listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Yeah. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. Yeah. All right, you've infected... You've so infected my personal space that it's possible I did begin to plant solutions in my work somewhere hidden between the games. Right? If there was an answer or a meaning, would it make you happier? Would you stop taking my games and showing them to people against my wishes? What? Giving them something that is not yours to give, violating one boundary that keeps me safe? Would you stop changing my games, stop adding lamp posts to them what what no he added the lamp posts you coda added the lamp posts didn't he what do you and simply then you stopped and i didn't have anything left to show people i i just had to be with myself uh-huh and as soon as that happened there was no feeling at all would you simply let nothing. them be what Less they are? Uh -huh. What does that mean? When I am around you, I feel physically ill. You desperately need something, and I cannot give it to you. I literally do not have it. Okay. Struggling to come up with new ideas is not making me depressed. Low points are just a part of the process. The fact that you think I am frustrated or broken says more about you than about me. Hmm. I realize that it, this doesn't make sense to you just yet. Which is fine, you're not my problem to solve. But I do hope that know that one day it clicks and that you make peace with this thing that you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. And when you finally see what I am talking about, don't say anything. Okay. It's the puzzle again. But there is... That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work. Is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. Uh -huh. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people uh -huh. will play it so that it'll find its way to you so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games uh -huh. again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself okay. in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know yeah. that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, uh -huh. I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell uh -huh. you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you uh -huh. want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Settle down, settle please. down, settle down. Start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever uh -huh. it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is yeah. that you just summoned out of nothing and you put in your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. Oh, wait a second. I want to know oh, no, the room's I collapsing. Know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Uh -huh. Please. I'm fading. And all I want is to know that yeah. I'm going to be okay. Uh huh. That, but, um, okay, epilogue, okay, let's see what this ends up being, whoa, whoa. is this a train station or something, I don't know, right, what's up here, this is kind of strange, Okay, yeah, I was right, it's a train station. More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. Uh-huh. Solution, solution, solution. Huh. 
Earl Wright. There's a house here. <laughs> or that's pretty obvious though. If someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. Uh-huh. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Maybe he just yeah. likes making prisons. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, this is this ah. Uh. Wow, this is really... Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't shoot. They'll hate you. Hmm. Alright, okay, what's through here? Hey, what? What's going on now? Huh. What? What? What is? What is this? So it's like a collapsed parking area. If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? Uh huh. <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of yeah. not being driven by external validation is unthinkable like yeah. I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like uh -huh. all right uh -huh. this is this is weird okay let's go through here whoa what is this am I like in a cavern right now oh, no. uh. This is really touching, I have to say. This is well made. I think I need to go. And I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would uh -huh. be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting yeah. to feel like I have a lot of work to do. Uh huh. I have a lot that I need to make up for. And so I'm just gonna. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, we're into a desert or something up here. Right? Hmm. Okay, so... Uh, this, is, this is really confusing. I don't get this at all. Right, I'll keep going, I guess. Huh. Oh, oh, what's this? Okay, I guess I'll just jump. Wee! Right. Um. Oop. Um. Oops. What's going on here? <laughs> okay, I think I probably are am supposed to go through there. Let's just keep keep setting upward after I pass that. I'll check. So it stops now, probably. Okay, yeah. I am supposed to get through here. Hmm. Right. Uh. What's up here? Okay, I got a ton- Oh, I think I know what- I, I can't see it clearly right now, but I think I might know what that is up there. Is that the thing from the Project Whis Whisper or whatever the first game was that we played? Like, the beam? I think that- Yeah, that's gotta be what that is. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. It looks just like it from, from right here. If it's on it, I'm gonna be amazed. Yeah, that's it. It is it. I am positive. Yeah, it's it. Right. Hmm. Whoa. Do I need to just jump into it this time? I'll do it. Right. Uh, wait. 
Okay, so I'm floating upward again. Except there was nothing. Whoa, 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 what is this? What? Um, what? Um, all right, what? 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 What is this? This is crazy. It's a massive maze. What? What? What is this? This is huge. What? No way. This is insane. Is that it? Um... Wait, what? For R. Alright, okay, so it says for R. Okay, who's R? This project would not have been possible without the following individuals. Alright. Okay. It's interesting. Turn back. Written by... Okay, is that the song that's... Yeah, this has got to be the song that's being sung. Additional thanks. All right. Well, wow. Jeez. Ah. Well, guys, um, that is the beginner's guide. It has been quite, a, I have to say, emotional, very sensitive. I don't know, but um, I feel that this game has good a good meaning, and it was really well made. But um, I'm gonna end the series and this episode for now. I am Kratos from the Mindfish, and see ya.